Hello Sagittarius, the archer. I am Noelle with followtheplanets.com. So Sagittarius, you've been going through a lot of changes because you have been the hoster of the eclipses for the past two years. You and your opposing sign Gemini and you have one more eclipse. December 4th and that's going to really strongly represent a new beginning for you and what these eclipses have been about are what you want for you, your direction into the future and with a partner, a contractual partnership that's very serious and it's long term. So that's what's been shifting the past two years. We have an eclipse on June 10th in your opposing sign in Gemini. We'll talk about that. And you have a new beginning solar eclipse December 4th and that will be your final one. You will get a bit of a relief of all of these changes that have been going through what you want for you and what you want in a contractual partnership. They're serious partnerships. They're business partnerships, marriages. They could have to do with a lawyer, a CPA, anyone you're signing a contractual agreement with. Um, okay, so let's get started. So Jupiter has your ruler, the planet of luck has moved into Pisces to give you a quick little view of what's to come all of next year. And that view is an expansion in your home life. You could buy a big house, Sagittarius, okay? You could buy big furniture. You could, um, it's going to be about an expansion with your home. You may even get more than one home. Um, now this has to do with family as well. So you could be expanding your family in some way, whether that, if that's not you having children, which it may, you may join on with this contractual partner, extending your family into, you know, a bigger realm of more relatives that you are contractually bound to in that way. That could be one area as well. But anyways, on a side note, this will be healing, okay? This is about healing. This is about very being very creative with the home and really using your imagination, which you do so well, dear Sagittarius, the philosopher, okay? So with Mercury, Mercury goes retrograde on June 22nd. So he is just entering this area that has to do with anything domestic. Your focus next year is really gonna be on your domestic world. And this little view within it from now until July, you're, it's something to review. It's something to look into. It's something to ponder on not really take action, but something to really think about what you want for your next year in your domestic world. Be buying a big house, adding to your family, um, something that involves luck out of your home. Okay, now we are in the storm. Sagittarius, we are in the storm right now. It is eclipse season and Mercury is retrograde, putting a whole spin on all of this, okay? So June 10th, we have a solar eclipse. We already had a, a lunar eclipse in your sign last month. And um, so everything is shifting and changing. There could be some arguments, some fallouts. There could be people leaving your work, brand new people coming on things could be really shifting and ending and it's unexpected now this eclipse is in this contractual partnership and again this is what's up for review 
okay so the the contradictory energies that we have going on here are we have a solar eclipse which is very strong solar eclipse want you to defiantly start something new a new beginning with this contractual partnership mercury is saying no don't start anything new same area don't start anything new so what do you do okay how you're going to deal with this is uh, not propose, not get engaged, don't get married in June. If you can delay it, delay it. Um, don't sign on with a contractual partner. What you want to do is perhaps go back to a business that you had a contractual partnership with and research them, review them, see if that's something you would want to get going again. Okay? Um, some, it's something very serious. So you don't want to start anything brand new. You want to perhaps, you know, look into past people that you had contractual partners with and reach out to them. It could be any business you're related to. It could be your, your ex-spouse. Reach back out to them, okay? It, there, there could be just communicating and seeing what's going on. There, there could be something going on, and this could have some relation to your ruler, okay? Okay, for next year. Feel it out. Philosophize it. That's your specialty. Philosophize. Research. You're, you want to philosophize and think, see how things play out. Don't, you're okay not making a decision right away. I know you got that fire, Sagittarius, but you want to think it through. And now is the time to think things through with a contractual partner. Do not sign on. Do not make any decisions this month. R review old 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 contractual partnerships that you had reread the verbiage reread the agreements you can learn about contractual partnerships again Re pick up books that you read before it's okay to pick up a new book read learn do something where you're learning about contractual partnerships because that could be something for your future here. And that's what this has been all about, especially December 4th. That's what could come back here. And it's a good time to have this knowledge. That's what you're all about, Sagittarius, having this knowledge of going back to people you worked with before but not start anything new. June 24th, we have an ending here. It's a full moon, okay, in Capricorn. And Mercury is just waking up from his retrograde on the 22nd. So that's going to put a spin on this, okay? That's going to make this ending that you have not be so clear. So it's really important to have your papers all printed out, your ducks in a row here. And this has to do with a career and how you earned money in it. So there could be an ending there and you want to really make sure you are given, you know, what you agreed upon and there's no confusion with that ending with some earned income. So no that there's confusion and you've got to be very clear with what you're owed with this ending if you're owed anything okay um you're not going to see the light after all of this until july 7th after july 7th you can move forward with contracts agreements signed papers you will see clearly and you will have much better vision of understanding where things are for you to make the proper decision and move forward. Okay, so after July 7th, July, I'm sorry, June 29th, you will start to see, you'll start to see things more clearly, but you're best to wait till July 7th. Okay, dear Sagittarius, the archer, the master philosopher, good luck this month. Check out my webpage, 
followtheplanets.com, also Facebook, Follow the Planets as well. Until next time.